हेलो गाइस दिस इज मुरली चौधरी परसुइंग हिस्ट्री ऑनर्स फ्रॉम रामजेस कॉलेज इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव टॉक अबाउट मॉडर्न पैलेसेस एंड पिलर्स टू सम एक्सटेंट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट अशोकन पिलर्स इन डिटेल्स सो अशोकन पिलर्स आर इंस्क्राइब विद इंस्क्रिप्शंस uh and these are free standing pillars and uh, examples are you know delhi topra pillar inscriptions and we found set of seven edicts at uh, delhi topra pillar okay and um, other is commemorative inscriptions at romandai or also known as lumni pillar inscriptions and nigali sagars and we found uh, inscriptions at nigali sagars and also schism edict at sanchi basically what is schism edict so schism edicts uh, are for those nuns and uh, monks who have descent from uh, sangha and uh, and uh, uh, this edicts is for uh, you know warning and punishment uh, by sokas who have descent from you know uh, from sangha so and we found three uh, schism edicts at sanchi one at sanchi another uh, was at uh, elhabad and uh, third was sarnath so we found three schism edicts at sanchi sarnath and elhabad so and there are also pillars where we won't find any inscriptions like uh, you know bull capital rampurwa and uh, you know lion capital at uh, baisali and kosam pillars okay and we won't find any inscriptions and uh, similar like uh, mauryan pillars uh, these uh, pillars were monolithic uh, that is carved out of single piece of stones and this was made from chunar sand stones okay let's uh, talk so about other aspects of mauryan pillars okay so when we talk about uh, mauryan pillars uh, we have uh, four uh, parts of mauryan pillars or ashokan pillars so uh, in the first part is you know sept so this is lower part this is called sept and uh, above this this is inverted lotus so we can see the floral design patterns or motif so above this this is a abacus this is abacus earlier abacus was you know plain uh, plain or square in nature but later on uh, we found uh, you know round or curved uh, abacus as well so above ab 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 abacus there was you know capital and uh, with the croning elements or croning uh, uh, animals like in this pillars we have you know lion so uh, similar uh, similarly there are various places we found different kinds of animals so when we talk about uh, when we talk about uh, pillar inscriptions let's uh, talk about uh, other uh, when we talk about uh, animals croning animals and uh, this croning animals found at different sites like uh, we found four uh, any alliance you know and or quadruple lions at sarnath so we can, you can see this is uh, lion capital at sarnath there are four lions or uh, you know beside this there is also one lion so there are four lions at sarnath so this this was used as a croning element okay and we where we also found single lion so here you can say there, there is single lion at besali so and uh, single lion at besali so and uh, apart from besali we found single lion at basar bakira loria nandangarh rampurwa and loria aridas so we found a single lion at this places so th uh, there were other uh, there were uh, other animals like elephant and we elephant uh, we found elephant at sankisa and sankisa uh, pillars is without you know capital okay uh, without pillar so the you know, elephant so we found elephant at sankisa and this sankisa is without pillar so we only found capital at sankisa and also we found a bull rampurwa bull we found the image of bull at rampurwa pillar so other thing is that uh, here you can see this is rampurwa pillar rampurwa uh, pillar okay and this is you know elephant sankisa elephant without pillar so there is no any pillar this is emblem okay this is lion single lion or loria aridas so this is also besali so this is all, this is about uh, modern pillar so no this animals have symbolic meaning this floral motif or animal motif have very symbolic meaning like uh, uh, when you talk about lotus lotus is symbol of fertility and fecundity okay lotus is symbol of fertility and fecundity and uh, and in in uh, but in later buddhist tradition it is said that uh, you know when Bu when buddha was uh, born he he went into seven steps and uh, the lotus was you know sprang up so this is also about uh, lotus and uh, 
when we talk about animals the lion is uh, you know related with the buddha so as buddha is referred as sakya you know simha sakya simha we know that buddha was belong from sakya clan so simha so so lion among sakyas so buddha is referred as sakya simha okay and uh, but in earlier traditions lion is considered as a you know solar symbol anyway but uh, let's uh, talk about other animals like we found a bull bull at sarnath because at sarnath we found uh, uh, four animals bull uh, elephant horse you know, lion so bull is related with fertility okay bull is related with fertility and uh, elephant is uh, basically related elephant is basically uh, faqil of uh, lord indra but uh, it is also so associated with lakshmi in the form of gaja lakshmi form so and this is about elephant so elephant which we found we see that elephant has also symbolic meaning now um, let's uh, talk about uh, you know yeah we also found you here you can see dharm chakra so dharm chakra is related with you know uh, the you know, we found at sarnath this is dharm chakra and dharm chakra is uh, representing the first sarman of buddha so and this is uh, found at uh, sarnath and uh, this uh, dharm chakra is also related with sovereignty okay so you can see dharm chakra at, found at sarnath and in the panel you can also see uh, elephants okay and there is a linear contour of uh, inverted lotus and there are four uh, you know lions so that is quadruple lion found at sarnath and besides lions there are other animals found at sarnath in the pillars so this is about uh, you know sarnath pillar this is baisali pillar so where we found single lion this is rampurva where we found a bull as a crowning element this is also loria areras or loria nanangad you know pillar where we found uh, lions this is emblem and this is uh, uh, this is uh, you know elephant without pillars so this is capital the, here you can see inverted lotus the, here you can see round abacus so this is elephant okay so this is all about uh, crowning element animals so we, here we see that uh, uh, here we see that uh, uh, there are symbolic you know meaning you know and culture meaning of all animals So, uh, so this is all about uh, uh, sokan pillars until next we will talk about other aspects in uh, later videos until next time take care bye bye